In establishing the tone in this movie, it was really important to make sure we had a broad range of emotion. Um, on one side, you have this gritty spaghetti western tone, this inspiration from grim fairy tales that can be kind of dark and scary, and we needed a ray of hope, a bright sunshine character that would really lighten up the movie and ultimately carry with him this joy that is almost infectious to Puss in Boots, to Kitty Softpaws, to anybody who comes in contact with him. Uh, that is Perito. You know, art is about interpretation and what's really cool about creating a movie that's that it leans on impression more than being literal, that you can connect emotions, I think, in a stronger way and also it allows you to have something that, that kids can access, but also adults feel the same. And you know, so, something that we've always uh, pushed for is that you know, these movies aren't just for kids. Animation isn't just a genre. You know, it, it, it's a tool to tell stories. And we really wanted to make sure this story took you on a sophisticated journey and really helped you experience things unlike you're used to seeing in an animated movie. The world has only seen the fearless hero, the, the guy who you know, always has, a, has an answer for everything, a, a, a quip for everything, who will sing a song. And what happens to this guy who is hit by the fact that he is down to his last life and he feels fear for the first time and he goes on this journey of vulnerability and um, in a way discovers more about himself and the audience alongside gets to see that and experience that. And that was something surprising from the very beginning that we knew we'd get the comedy, we knew we'd get the return of Puss in Boots, but the, the depth that Antonio's brought has really been just incredibly impactful in the story. You know, something that um, right from the very beginning excited me about this project was the opportunity to tell a story that's both absurd and deep at the same time. Puss in Boots is on the last of his nine lives. And I mean, when you think of like a cat has nine lives, I don't even know where that started, this, this idea of it, but it's ridiculous and it fits perfectly into the Shrek fairy tale world. At the same time, when Puss discovers he just has one life left and feels the weight of that, there's something very relatable for all of us as human beings who've only been gifted with one life ourselves. And that's what excited me about the, the promise of this project was it can be ridiculous and funny and fantastical and then really grounded um, and have a, what I hope is a powerful message, which is a kind of celebration of our life, a joy of, of what we've been given.